Welcome to Make Education TV for updates regarding jobs, latest development, travel information, and everything in between. Tune in until to the end. Hi guys, welcome back again. It's Max, uh, yet in another video. Uh, please, if it's your first time coming across this channel, please consider supporting and subscribing to this channel. Then, the question is that, how much is the lowest salary paid to a security guard? Yes, definitely, guys, I've always been going through here, but we know the newcomers need to know this. Yes, let us try to help them to know when they're coming, definitely they know what you're saying. The lowest amount of salary that is paid for a security guard in Qatar, uh, it's 1,300. We are looking at the maximum or we are looking at the minimum amount of salary or minimum amount of wage that is gazetted by the uh, by the government or is gazetted by the labor law under the ministry of uh, interior uh, minister of labor and that's what you know that is the minimum amount of salary that you are paid as a security guard is going to be 1300 how does it come 1300 i've always been telling you this 1000 is the basic salary that is paid to all employees in the company uh, the, uh, all employees in Qatar or all employees working in Qatar for the startup. Then uh, uh, something else that you are going to be paid is what we call the food allowance which is going to be 300 that is going to be paid. So at the end of it all you know after eight hours you will be paid what we call 1300 Qatar real. But remember I told you the food allowance is not going to be given as a separate amount of money. They will all be added together. So at the end of it all you expect that you will be paid 1300 at the end of it all. So when you have uh, extra hours worked depending on where you are working then definitely you have a higher amount of money that will be added and even also it's going to depend on what you call uh, uh, the overtime that will be added. Still, something else that you need to understand is what we call uh, what we call different projects. For example, if you're working for uh, security, if you're working in cleaning department, hospitality department, you may have different clients that may be able to negotiate for an increase in your money depending on what is your productivity and how variable that you get to perform your duties at one or the other. But mostly, uh, when we take the general the general statement of it, or when we take the general amount that is being gazetted or being paid by the government definitely the, 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 the amount that is paid is 1000 that is for the basic salary which is worked for after eight hours and then we also have another which is 300 added in case that you are not given food which we call the food allowance and that is given to you at the end of, or at the end of it all then when you look at other things uh, definitely for the overtime i think i'm trying to explain that and uh, you definitely know that you have to change that and definitely that is how it is and that is how you have to go so knowing that wherever you are coming or you're coming to this country maybe through the recruitment agencies or through definitely sometime take out to ask how much you're going to be earned and if you ask if you're told by that company in case you get to know that company and you get to know the amount of amount amount that you're being told to agent yes go to the glass door then try to check and compare the notes and see how much definitely this guard or this person will be being paid and definitely for example if you definitely have that opportunity then you can take it all thank you so much for coming back zero it makes from the next creation tv